what is up okay where is all of my fucking sunglass people yes i am a sunglass person and i know y'all out there too with the sunglasses if you are not a sunglass person don't talk to me don't talk to me okay i'm excited i enjoyed this movie flick i'm so excited and i'm stoked <laughs> gotta use a white people word but i'm stoked about this movie yes i'm loving the metaphor i'm loving this sunglass person okay stop playing okay yes get your fucking sunglasses get those eyes open get that eye open okay that right there in the background is the trailer hey Hey, okay. Let me go ahead and pause this. Okay. Listen, okay. I don't know who else was like me, was like a kid in the movie store, a fucking movie candy store. <laughs> like, see, that's how I started on right? Like, I was so happy to finally like look at something that I can relate to and it don't gotta like, I don't gotta hear the fucking word COVID. Like, ugh, I don't wanna say that shit, okay? Every time I'm on my timeline, it, that's 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 all it is right now. Whether it's um, from an NPC that's just programmed or whether it's from a revolutionary that is trying to give people their shades, okay? I'm so sick of that shit. But this was a treat for me because if you do not get some type of epiphany by now, I don't, I don't know what it's going to take for you to wake up. I don't know if you're meant to wake up. I don't know. Okay. So this was just like a reminder for me going to the movies and seeing this because while experiencing um different spiritual things as a child and then getting recorded back up into the matrix and then i had an epiphany when the matrix dropped okay so just want to make a little quick reference to that movie when um the first matrix came out i had to be probably about like 15 or 16 and you know of course when i seen the previews i was going to see it because you know, he was dodging the fucking bullets. You see the bullets going in slow motion and all of that, right? And, but, you know, while I'm in there, I'm like, what the, wait a minute, what the fuck? Wait, what? what? Okay, so by now we already know all that about the Matrix. You know, at that time, the internet was not what it is now. So, you know, I thought I was like by myself when it came to that. I thought I was by myself. Um... I even remember after the movie being so excited for what I had realized and I was telling my dad and like, he's kind of a realist and open mind. And I was like, look, you know, they like trying to tell you some shit. And he's like, nah, I'm like, yeah. And he like, nah, 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 that ain't true. You know, it's just a movie type thing. So I'm like, okay, you know, I had to just keep all of my stuff um, to myself because I didn't have anybody to talk to um, about those type of things. And then years later, here's all you wonderful sunglass people who saw the same thing, you know, or um, was probably even further uh, at that time in spirituality than I was, you know, um, you know, some of us are older than others or whatever. But again, this was another movie to give you an epiphany to make a light bulb go off in your head. Okay, so as y'all know, I like to say everything, every topic is multidimensional, every, you know, angle. And I um, I don't care about debating. Um, I can take anybody's perspective. And I always like to say this is a multidimensional Rubik's Cube. You know what I'm saying? I would take your perspective and put it under whatever color and I will. Hmm. Okay. I get you. So, you know. Um, there are a lot of things that um, this movie can be um, tied to when it comes to decoding it. And I just want to point out some of the obvious, okay? 
some of the obvious. So we know the sunglasses <laughs> represent our fucking what? First eye, our third eye, first eye, our bird's eye view, our mind's eye. This is what this represents, okay? Being able to be aware of the reality around you. Awareness, awareness. One of the first stages of waking up or being woke, you know what I'm saying? Becoming aware. And then you have to do what? Put in the work, just like um, Guy was. He um, started to become aware and the more aware he was becoming and, you know, um, the lady, the girl told him, you have to put in the work. Like, you need to level up before you talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, then you come back and we'll, we'll see what's up. And that's just, you know, I know a lot of us out here can relate because that's how I be like, I, I just can't talk to like a NPC or somebody's eye, you know, their mind, eyes closed. It's like level up and, you know, come talk back to me. Go put in your work. And that's what we have to do. And even when we do level up, we have to continue to put in work. Note to self, note to self. So we have to continue to put in that work. But the obvious of the sunglasses being a metaphor for the third eye and um, possibly many other things, okay? That you're in a fucking simulation. That you're in a video game. That you can control your own reality. Like, that is just not some motivational shit to say. It's real. It's real. Okay? So, you know, I was just excited with even that part. You know, I was like, okay, new slogan, new term. Bitch, I'm a sunglass person. Don't even talk to me if you're an NPC. If you're programmed, you're not woke okay so there are many um different topics um or people have different perspective on what an npc is you know so like i said um i'm not into debating i um enjoy everybody's perspective and everybody's you know definition of something okay so we also saw in the movie what guy tried to fucking wait little rail's character up and he was like, no, I can't. Ain't that what's going on? Ain't that what's always going on? You try to give these people the sunglasses and they like, I, I, I can't. Like they don't even want to try to open their mind's eye, bro. They don't even want to try to open their mind's eye and like look at what's around them and realize what's around them you know and so god was going through different um you know levels of awakening because even as he was like kind of you know he had um got his shades and he's like realizing like oh shit like whoa 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 this is awesome you know and then she had to come and break some more news to him like this isn't real you aren't real and all of that and like they just kept saying it in the movie you kept hearing the world so um like fake we're not real da, 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 da. yes bitch yes yes exactly exactly that is what this is exactly and some people just can't fathom that idea but that is exactly what this is and if you're not willing to put on your shades so that you can see well, then you're just going to stay an NPC. You're going to stay programmed. You're going to stay in that mold. You're not going to know that there is something else outside of free city. Okay. So, you know, man, oh man, just, just the different terms, just the terminology that they were using, you know, just to drop hints on you. You know what I'm saying? Um, the shades also could just, you know, like I said, tie into different metaphors. I would leave those topics to... Um, those who specialize in certain topics that are not my forte. I have not watched um, any lectures yet today on the movie, but I am definitely going to tune in after I just share my excitement with you guys um, on the different lectures. You know, it's my entertainment to see everybody's perspective um, on this whole movie, but it was just awesome, man. Just seeing that, again, reminding that 
you know, use your mind's eye, level up, look at what's going on around you and realize some things, okay? Don't be like Lorel's character where you don't want to, you know, put on the shades. You don't even want to try and see. He was just willing to like, all right, well, um, you know, I'll just go along with you, whatever you doing. And it's like, okay, well, shit. Luckily for you, you you follow somebody whose um, interest is to wake up, okay? So, you know, of course, we had um, that um, Archonic type energy guy who was over the company, the game company, um, Tsunami. He was fucking hilarious. <laughs> he was funny as shit. Like, he had me rolling, right? He was a whole trip. But, you know, we know he was... Um, also a low vibration of energy because he wanted to do what steal and control and keep people trapped in and he wanted to just make money and he just didn't care about anything except himself and being in control okay so we know that that's just like low vibration of energy that's um arconic type energy and that is just what that relates to so you know that's just what he is <laughs> Hi, Hero. So that's just what that is. Although he was, um, you know, spun off to be funny, but he is, you know, low vibrational, trying to control you, trying to have you not create your reality and show who you truly are. And that's what he was about. But you can't stop the inevitable, right? So you already saw at the end of the movie, they couldn't be stopped. So you can't stop what is really truly to come. You might take some down in the process, but what's meant is meant, okay? So also another thing um, that's coming to me and realizing, you know, just showing you how you, um, you, know, you are your higher self controlling this avatar and you're playing this game and they show that through what? Through players you know controlling the players that was within the game you had millie and you had the um guy who created the game and and you know things were stolen from them but these are your higher selves and you you know you jump in this game but you know you're not literally just only that so you know they show parts um you know with our kind of energy guy was just basically trying to bother them and then you had the disconnection. So that's like showing you the disconnection from your higher self and your game mode self need to connect so that you can realize things and you could beat the task at hand by staying in connection with your higher self. That form of you that's outside of the video game, that's playing the video game, okay? So, you know, this was just exciting, man. This was just so exciting, right? Like, I was up just fucking all night after the movie, just constantly thinking about this shit. And I probably should have did the movie, I mean, my video last night. And my thoughts were a little more fresher. But, yeah, I was just like, okay, I'm just going to say a little bit here and there. Um, there also was reference to, you know, coding and them talking about the zero and one. And we know we learned a lot about the zeros and ones and um you know in matrix in the matrix with how things are built and we know that numbers have so many different um symbolized meanings to them so like again it goes even further down the rabbit hole you know they even reference ai so that's another thing too where um things like the ai technology the nanotechnology and the agenda of wanting to turn people um into robots is another thing that was also um pointed out in this movie if you can see with the shades if you can use your shades and you can see and not let your shades blind you um there was a lot of reference to that also but again like i said i won't really make references to that i will leave that part of things to those who can break that down um a lot deeper and a lot better um if you out there and you're willing to be the research for the agenda to see what human bodies can be susceptible to being turned into a robot then that's what you're doing when it comes to getting the, the jab right so that's you you know, we're trying to show you, we're trying to give you the shades and you know, you don't want to uh, pay attention to that. So I definitely um, caught that 
um, part of things. You know, like I said, I'll just wait to see what um, other people are saying because that's not my forte, but I am aware of those things. But I was just more excited about the metaphor um, referring to being aware, referring to, you know, using your mind's eye, creating your reality and breaking free and seeing that there's much more out there than just being in fear. Okay. Then you even had um, Laurel transition in the movie. And what do we always say even in the spiritual community? There is no death. Okay. There is transition. So you stuck in that mold like, oh no, I don't want to burn. I don't, I don't want to go to hell. Okay. You know, that's going to be your reality. Like I'm, I'm like guy, like you, you sure you want to try it? No. All right. I'm going to just hold on to the shades for you. I ain't going to try to force your ass to put on the shades. Do you? You know what I'm saying? He transitioned and what? He was reincarnated. Huh? Reincarnated. That is what we do, people. You reincarnate to a better fucking reality or maybe back to this trash one, you know, and then there's the theories on that about being trapped and your soul being trapped and da 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 But my main focus was you transition and boom. And what he's like, oh, I saw some pixies dust and da 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 It's all magical. Because when you get out of this body, there's a level of peace uh, that is almost just like, it's not impossible to obtain here, but it's just, you know, a lot of things get in the way of that. And, um, you know, I've had different experiences like um, shrooms and things like that, that give you that feeling of like, you know, your soul floating out and, you know, astral projection type. And it's just a level of like fucking peace, bro. It's just like freedom. Okay. You like your slate is clean. You start over, reset, and it's just freedom. But, you know, they're just showing you a lot of key basic points in this that I just hope a lot of people could pick up and see. You know what I'm saying? Like they just come in so straightforward and it's time. That's that's what they have to do. You don't have a choice. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't let it bother me with when it comes to the they or the elite or the government or whatever. It's a video game. They're the fucking villains in the video game. This is what they are supposed to do. And, you know, you take them down by what? What was at the end of the movie? They gave us double doses of the love frequency. Okay? First, Millie, her avatar, and Guy, you know, falling for each other. And we ultimately see that what? Guy is who? The boy who helped her create the movie. Shit, I forgot his name. But the the who helped her create the game. He basically created Guy off of him. So this ended in what? The love frequency, baby. You got the vibe in that heart chakra. You got the vibe in that love mold. You got to know you divine. You got to know that, you know what I'm saying? Who you are. You got to know who the fuck you are. You feel me? And so, man, I just left like with a smile. And I was like, okay, lectures are going to go down about this. I'm going to be so excited. Let me just share my excitement and just my little things that I noticed within, you know, within the movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, because social media has just been so blah to me lately. Like, I haven't even been on doing videos. If I'm not on there um, promoting marketing, I, I, I don't have time. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I'm, I'm, you know, that's what I'm on, man. If we're not promoting our brand, uh, Pranayama, by the way, check us out, pranayamadesign.com. You know what I'm saying? Free thinker, shirt created by my hubby. That's one of our shirts there, our recent shirts, the Crop Top Truth um, Know Thyself shirts and um, the Root Chakra. So, yeah, we got a lot more coming and just trying to keep it growing and expanding. 
and make that our reality. But yeah, if I'm not using social media for that, I just really haven't been on because it's just so annoying. And I'd rather be having my energy involved in things like continue to build a fucking routine and putting in a work so that I can experience these extraordinary things through my shades so that I can see all the magic around me. And that is what I rather talk about and focus on. I do not have time to talk about blah, 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 blah. Fear frequency stuff. I don't have time for that shit. My energy is too valuable for that. I just don't. Okay. I just want to say to all you non player characters, if you don't have your shades on, people with shades don't talk to people like you. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Judge it how you want to. I don't give a damn. I, I, I like the new metaphor and that's how I feel. Because like I just I, like people who 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 don't have shades. Like I don't be wanna like talk to you. Okay. And I had a moment like this recently, right? Because I was homeschooling. So I decided to let my middle kid school um, children go back to school, right? So I'm in the line and I'm doing what I need to do, paperwork, whatever. And there's other parents there, you know, and I was just like in a good space. I got all my paperwork. I already know what the fuck is needed. I'm not even about to let y'all aggravate me. You know, I'm, I'm hearing people like, why they need you to bring this paper? What Like, why you letting this shit bother? You already know the process. How long you had children in school, right? So... While I'm in the line, it's these two females in front of me. But this, the one that's directly in front of me, she was talking to the other lady in front of her. You know, I'm minding my business. Got my son standing there minding my business. I'm chilling. So she decides to engage her energy with mine. And I'm just so disgusted because I'm like, why? Why, why are you talking to me? Why am I letting you talk to me? Okay, so a, a, a school person comes out and she decides to crack a joke about the person like, oh, look at this mushroom head ass lady, you know, so, you know, I kick the bubble, I talk shit too, you know, so I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, her mushroom head, but at the same time, I'm not really like feeling her energy, right? So she's just looking for somebody to talk to because she's proud of um, some accomplishment she made. You know, she's just recently lost weight and she she walks for seven miles and she drinks a gallon of water a day. And I'm thinking the whole time, bitch, I don't care. Turn around. Like, don't talk to me. You know, this is what I'm thinking. But I still, you know, I kind of dab in it, you know, but she's feeling herself so much with her little lace front of braids down her ass at the school Representing your child all kind of whatever way, girl. Whatever. And so, yeah, she like, oh, how many kids you get? And I'm like, hey, you know, so she all happy. She like lost some weight. And the bitch trying to like give me advice. Hold on, bitch. I ain't never look for no compliments. But uh, all my life, that's all I've heard. Like people like, oh, you don't like you got no kids. You don't this and that. So I know a lot of us out there can't relate because we bounce back like that. And I'm like, I know this bitch I ain't like, girl, sit down. Like, girl, no advice. And the bitch gonna ask me again how many kids I got, like, as if I'm lying. Like, the seal. Like, I'm gonna be like, oh, six. Bitch, I said eight. What the fuck, bitch? I, I birthed them all out of here. All natural. Like, the fuck? And you got some two kids. Sit down. Sit down, baby. Level up, NPC. When you have eight, then you talk to me. Like, sit down. And this ain't no shade on nobody, but the bitch just was aggravating. All right, so I didn't even want to talk to her. Anyway, so they end up telling us to come into school, and we go in the cafeteria, and she sit to a table directly behind me, her and some of the other parents, and I sit at a table, like the first little table, it was nobody there. It's just me and my son sitting there, and one of the people that worked at the school. So while I'm sitting there, and... um. I'm overhearing her talk and I hear her say something about Florida. So I turn around like, oh, I didn't know, you know, you was from Florida, whatever. I'm from Miami. Like, where you from? So she like, <laughs> like Orlando. But now the energy kind of like, why the fuck I'm talking to her? 
I'm like, hold on, bitch. You know, you were talking to me. The fuck? You know what I'm saying? Why you like, ugh. Dog, protect your energy out here. I, I, I just had to say that because I just feel like I know you an NPC. Like, because you don't know nothing. You just jumping on the trend of eating right and blah, blah, blah. But you still don't even know what to do with that. You know, that's good. You made your accomplishment good. That's good for you. But I, I don't give a fuck because that ain't doing nothing for me. That don't put no nothing in my goddamn frequency at all. I don't care. You ain't do nothing but try to come throw mine off, my frequency off, and I didn't let you, you know. I mean, it was a little annoyed because I'm just like, don't talk to me. I just be feeling like even like like you should be like the NPCs in the movie. You know people with shades don't talk to people like you. So don't talk to me if you are not vibing in your mind's eye. You can't even fathom the fact that you live in a fucking simulation. Don't talk to me. I'm a sunglass person. I'm a sunglass person. Yes. <laughs> I'm loving the fucking metaphor, man. I'm excited about it. And if you don't get a damn epiphany, like I said, by this time, I don't know what else to tell your ass. But it was just so many gems and simple jewels in the movie trying to tell you. They just kept saying it. So life is fake. You mean I'm fake? You fake? This ain't real, is it? But that nigga still ain't want to put on them glasses. He still ain't want to put on them glasses and pay attention at all. Still ain't want to ain't, 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 ain't want to look and really see what was going on. You know, but share you know share your light and just be you and it's not about validation and then you know those who are supposed to fall will just like the rest of the npcs started to see and it was like you know the girl was like yeah i don't want to keep making no damn regular coffee you know she wants to make a cappuccino bitch yes wake up do what the fuck you want to do okay do what you want to do take control of your reality take control of your shit because you can you know, share your light and those who shall follow it and start to turn on their light and share their light, they will. But I just, you know, I definitely enjoyed the movie. I definitely enjoyed the ending, you know, showing that love frequency, um, you know, showing them um, transitioning into a better reality, a more authentic and real reality. You know, you saw the butterflies, you know, and all of that. So just letting you know, how do you beat this situation? love raising your vibration doing things that make you happy not only just the fact of like you know eating um good foods that would turn it into fuel and good energy but anything i don't give a fuck if it's coloring if that shit got you like happy and you're at peace and you're aware bitch color do that Whatever the hell it is that's not having you in fear and down, that's where you need to be. That's where you need to be. In your high vibrational frequency of living, man, and being in, you know, in love with yourself and having, you know, this love that can't even be explained with words. That is where we have to be. That's what we have to experience and that's what we have to get ourselves you know, in order to have a good reality and play the game well. So, you know, look here, man, to all my sunglass people, do your thing. If you ain't a sunglass person, goddamn it, get your sunglasses out, put them on, wake up, you know, let's tighten up. Like I said, I can't wait to hear you guys out there with the different um, breakdowns um, of the movie, um, different even further things. Like I said, AI was mentioned in there, you know, being robots, you know, control, that arconic energy and all of that. But, hey, it's a game. So you choose your side. All right? Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. is so yeah, funny, There's gotta too. be more. More to what? Stuff we do day after day. Yeah. Being shot at. It's got Over. to be more. Hostage. Everybody down on the grass. Today's gonna be different. 
Oh shit. Mike. I'm doing a whole lot of shit, y'all. This isn't you. You don't do this, man. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Yo, this is scary. <laughs> He's just resting. In pieces. That man mm -hmm. is dead. He's just resting. He's so sleepy. He's just resting. Huh? It's just a Fantasy, baby. Mm -hmm. Wow. Awesome. Put, put, put the shades on. Put them on. Put them on. Realize it. Realize it. This world, it's a video game. It's a video game. They telling you. It's full of bad guys. In so many movies, they told you. Arconic energy, low vibrational energy. He was funny though. They told you. And they live in the matrix. In so many movies. And free guy. It was came out a day after my birthday, by the way. Okay. It's two bucks. Oh. <laughs> See that? Be a spiritual badass, okay? That's what I'm talking about. Spiritual badass. I'm not gonna be the good guy. I'm gonna be the great guy. Okay. Well, enjoy shades and be great. Supply of virginity. Off you go. <laughs> so easy. Awesome. Okay, that shit just said July 3rd, but I seen somewhere it said it came out August 13th. Anyway, August 13th is the day after my birthday. So, yes. On that note, my people, I am a sunglass person, and if you're not, you can't talk to me. Peace out.